Oh, that's right. I didn't do the oil. <laughs> Alright man, your car's done. You only gave me two grand for that? Ew. Don't come back. Alright, two more numbers. I'm gonna choose... I think I'll choose this time. I'll choose two and five. A new case. Outlaw says two and four. I'll do it on the new case. Two and four. Hey, nice. I am always down with money, dude. Excellent. Alright, so now I have 30 grand. I have one skill point. Do I spend $10,000 on the garage expansion? I think I do. Ah, this is what they did to the gas station. The gas station just turns into a garage expansion. Okay, that's that's fine. Looks like it's actually just the back half of the garage, too. Or, I'm, uh, the back half of the gas station. Because there's a front half as well. Oh, no! Aha! Now it does the whole building. you. I got a water bottle, too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, because you're green. Yeah. Here we go. Workshop floor. Okay. Workshop upper walls. Do those again. Okay. Man, I really like the garage uh, options, like cleaning the options. Is this the same wall that's in there? I don't think so, but I kind of like this being a little darker. Alright, what can I get in there now? Okay, that's where I get the brake lathe. Garage, uh, this is the workbench, body repair, engine tools. Okay, I got you. I'm going to save up some more money before I get any of these tools, because I don't want to, like, <laughs> work myself into a hold again. Good morning! We need an expert opinion. I don't know what happened. I was planning a family vacation for next week. I started the car yesterday, and I was trying to turn on the lights, and then there was nothing. I thought there maybe the lights were fried, but as it turned out, that wasn't the problem. Soon after, my car wasn't reacting to the key at all. I don't know what happened. That's the starter. 
Uh, please check what the problem is. Uh, it would be good if the car was fit for a longer trip and if it were more reliable. Uh, at least they marketed it as such. Uh, I'm almost sure that all these indicator lights were lighting up properly because they're supposed to light up, right? Do you hear that? What? I'm almost sure that all these indicator lights are lighting up properly. They're supposed to light up, right? Oh, God. <laughs> Rip? Oh, no. Sorry, I was really distracted by cat. That's okay. <laughs> okay, now, move the vehicle to the car wash. At least his car will be clean for his road trip. You're guessing that was a missus? I don't know, man. I'm pretty dumb when it comes to cars. So I wouldn't pass. I wouldn't put this past being a dude. I don't know anything about cars. <clears throat> okay, the air filter needs to get replaced. Did I know car parts before I played the game? I mean, in in a simplistic sense. Oh! <laughs> yes, outlaw. That was my wife. That's what you meant. Just immediately assumed outlaw was sexist. See? I told you I'm dumb. I don't know things. Oh, man. That's hilarious. <laughs> did, I, did I know car parts before I played these games? I mean, yes. But in the same aspect as, like, most people know car parts. I didn't know what all their functionalities were. I didn't know where they were all actually located in a car. <laughs> So, that being said, in my car, my engine is in the front, but my battery is in the back. It's very odd. It's a BMW? No, it's a Toyota. <laughs> I'm assuming it's because it's the Prius and the, uh, and the large battery is also in the back. But my standard car battery is also back there, too, so... Engine head is busted. Hmm. Okay, well, let's get started. Actually, before we get too much further, let's check a couple things here.
You know, people always say, ugh, Prius, until they start actually, like, getting information from me about my car. And then they're like, oh, maybe it's not as bad as I thought. <clears throat> Bunch of burnt out relays. You need to get- you don't have an engine in your bug right now? You just have it sitting in your garage? That's fair. <clears throat> Do you have the burnt out engine sitting in your backyard? On some like cinder blocks? Classic. Classic. It's a classic for a reason. <laughs> Anything on the other side? Nope. Okay. Starter actually looks in good condition. Hmm. Probably just the fact that all the fuses were blown. This is very strange. No, they line up. Never mind. I was thinking that the, uh, the camshaft caps didn't line up between the, uh, the actual shafts. Dropped a valve and destroyed the rest of the engine. Oh, it's in your Connex. You have a Connex on your on your property? Conrad, what's up, dude? <clears throat> Behind your house? That's pretty cool. Cheap storage, man. Alright, so here's the stupid question. Why is this fuel filter accessible underneath the car only, but that roller except, uh, uh, accessible only from the engine bay? Those should be reversed. <laughs> it's pretty obvious the roller is much easier to get from underneath. I know, I know what it is. But its placement on the engine is what determines whether it's going to be easy to get at from above or underneath, not what the object actually is. Alright, which one of these pistons? It was the center one, wasn't it? Pretty sure it was the center one. The other two look shiny. Yeah, it's got to be the center one. And also the fact that the idle roller was all the way at the bottom, but you have to get at it from from the top. That's this. Nope. Still missing four components. Uh, it could be the fuel pump back here. Nope, fuel pump is good. You can tell I don't do much work on vehicles. 
What part of me telling you I'm not a car mechanic and I don't know much about any car led you to believe I work on cars a lot? Have I done an alignment yet in the game? Yeah. I do them pretty frequently. I guess there could be something underneath the, uh, underneath the transmission. Alright, where's, where's the fuse box? Where'd that go off to? Around here somewhere. Hello? There it is, jeez. Could not see it. That one out. That guy comes out. That guy comes out. I know it's not pistons, not the thermostat. It would have to be... Everything else is exposed. It would have to be... Transmission based. Alright, let's lift it up, take the transmission apart. So, wait a second. I'm gonna be stupid here, but I'm gonna do it. Can I not... I can't run tests on the car while it's up. Okay. Even if the test is underneath the car. Alright. Ah, uh, piston rings. Good point. Could be the piston rings. Can I rebuild a transmission in the game? No. Oh, brakes. It's brakes. Yeah, okay. Well, I would have taken it out to the test pad anyway. Yeah, it's brake pads. Oh. Well, then it then I don't have to take you off the transmission. Yeah, okay. Now, other than working, I don't know why I decided to talk while I was ratcheting that. Other than working on the uh, the flywheel and the clutch plates and stuff, there's no transmission rebuild. That's as far as it takes it. Alright, so that should be everything. Yep, that's everything. Alright. That'd be neat DLC. Uh, yeah, it would, actually. They would have to... They'd have to rebuild... They'd probably have to put in a transmission shop option in the store. Because what would they put it under? Car, I guess car parts. They'd put it under car parts. Because that's where the transmissions are. But yeah, right now all you can buy are just straight up gearboxes. Just a full transmission. You can't tear it apart. But the, that'd be neat, have like a... Uh, um, like a transmission dolly that you could mount the transmission on, like an engine dolly. And, and pull it apart. That'd be kind of cool. Okay, inventory. Let's make sure my list is actually empty. It is not. Okay.
Okay. That should be everything. Now. Uh, alternator is electric. Spark plugs are electric. Fuses, relays, brake pads. And let's go to electric. Alternator. Spark plugs. Relay A. Relay B. Relay to, uh, fuse. Nope. I think that's it. I guess I can... No, let's start at the top. And I can drop the piston in pretty easily. There we go. New engine head. It's gonna be nice once I start leveling up repairing car parts, then I won't have to buy them. Makes, makes this much more profitable. Ninety-five percent. What's the lowest one? The lowest one is ninety-five percent. Okay, then we're fine. Let me make sure it doesn't complain about the camshaft. No, it doesn't. Okay. Good. one of these needed to get replaced? Am gear? That one. Okay. Cover back on. Mm, that appears to be everything up top, I think. You have not played enough car mechanic unless you have accidentally taken apart an entire engine trying to figure out why the game won't let you finish a car due to a missing part, only to find out that it was a clip on the stupid uh, air filter thing. Those are the days.
That idle roller is going to be the death of me, man. The fact that it is on the lowest part of the car and you can't get at it from underneath is so annoying. <laughs> It is on the oil pan. I don't have the serpentine belt. Did I did I sell it on accident? What the heck happened there? I don't even have the bad one to put back on. That's weird. Did I not take one off? Did it come in without a serpentine belt? It's possible. How they drove it here, I'll have no idea. What kind of serpentine, to, serpentine belt is that? Belt BI3, okay. Okay. I don't know how it showed me the serpentine belt A, considering I typed in belt B, but whatevs. Yeah, literally, there wasn't a tensioner or the belt. Wow! How did you even get this here? I guess it was towed. Alright, all new liquids. I can do that. Well, there is a test. There is a a, a test uh, path. It's just not in your parking lot.
Now, I don't have a dino to test that yet. Alright, perfect. Five grand, nice. I can actually go in. Oh, I can go in here now. In the previous one, you couldn't go in there. skill point. How close am I to leveling? Uh, not far. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know what that was. Uh, any bonus money? Nope. Hey, I'm coming to you with a very sentimental task. The Hellcat is the only piece of my grandma I have. The condition may not be perfect, but I really care about making it to something that would resemble production condition. Grandpa takes great care of it, but he's showing his age just like his car. He could use a fresh approach to the subject. I want to surprise him. The condition of exploitation elements... The condition of exploit... Exploit... Exploitation, yeah. Should be fine. But the rest... Uh, there are difficult... There are... The more difficult to access parts have been surpassed. Have surpassed the capabilities of Grandpa. Please take care of this classic piece for me. Jesus. Well, first off, is that extra money? No. Okay, so we're taking the sorry car. All things considered, it looks in pretty decent condition. Nope, I'm done. done. So the whole front suspension is going to have to get pulled out.
starter's gotta go. Oh, the engine heads are, are, are jacked too. Okay. Oh man, I am sorry, buddy. This is gonna be pricey. Alright, well. Uh... I... Don't think I'm gonna have to take off the pumps. Water pump. I have to take the belts off. How many parts are is it are they thinking here? Oh, three pages. Yeah, well, probably best just to drain the loop, the fluids now. Okay. started. Do I not have to take out the tie rod? Maybe not. You're telling me I could take out the suspension without taking the tires off? That doesn't seem right. Leave the tires all floppy on the end. <laughs> nah, I... Uh, essentially, I could put them back. I'm not doing that. That sounds dumb. Huh. Interesting. Alright, well, there's, there's that. Pumps gotta get replaced. Oh, can you zoom in on that for me? Well, I can't get a good look back there, but we'll assume it's good for now. Alright, so the heads have gotta come off. with their heads. See, mom knows. Okay, let's just get these things out of the way here. Unnecessary, but can't hurt. Could be some something under the timing cover that needs to get replaced. Uh, there's most likely something under the timing cover that needs to get replaced. <laughs> With how many parts are listed. Just 
pop this puppy off of there. Oh yeah, look at that. The crankshaft has to come out. Camshaft looks okay though. Spark plugs look okay. Yeah, alright. Rocker switches. The bane of my existence. They all look to be in relatively good condition, though. All the pistons look okay, though. At least there's that. That being said, I still have to remove them all. Which is unfortunate. I wish you could just remove the, uh, the rod cap and then pull the camshaft out by letting the, uh, by letting the pistons dangle. At least that increased screw speed really helps here. It's like almost. Oh my god, are all the push rods bad? All the rocker arms are good, and all the push rods suck. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, yeah, they're all bad. Same over here, all the push rods are bad. That one might be okay, but all the others look bad. That one push rod, thirty-two percent. Yeah, I'll go ahead and replace it anyway. Because the percent, 
Yeah, I have to replace 89. Okay. So there's all that. How are we looking here? One part undiscovered. Oh, it's the, it's the camshaft. Wait, I didn't. I didn't take the pistons out. I forgot that was a necessary step for this. Yeah, that makes sense. didn't open that other case. I need another another set of numbers, one through five. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Okay. Another case. Nice money. I like me some monies. All right. Rubber bushing. Starter is going to be in electronics. I like how it's completely not lined up at all. I'm sorry, why did you do that? That was weird. Maybe I hit like Waz or something while I was doing that. Mistakes! I'm gonna throw the oil filter on while we're here because otherwise I'll forget about it. Starter. I'm gl I'm glad they've uh, 
redone the camera angle for mounting and dismounting the drive shaft. The old camera angle was not not conducive to like <laughs> successfully installing parts. Okay, excellent. We'll get back inside the engine. Start putting this back together. And look at all of that room between the radiator and the fan. That's nice. Plenty of room to breathe. Alright. Now. Pistons go back in. Whoops. Okay, stop clicking on the uh, exhaust there for me, would you? That would be convenient.
fuel pump, and then the stuff underneath. Okay. I think we're good, man. Yeah, just refill the liquids. Uh, I need to drain any. Drain the brake fluid. I already did. Already did that and the coolant. I need to train brake fluid. is there. Move the car to the test path. That sucks, dude. <laughs> I watched that. I know, and it was so many times. Oh, I'm gonna take nose spray. Eight grand, nice. Now I'm over thirty thousand dollars. Four hundred 
five skill points available. Do I go for screw? Or do I go for actually like being able to fix parts? Go for screw? That's kind of what I was leaning towards. 155% screw speed is going to be... And when I get 75, that's going to take me to like, what, 200 and... 225%? 215%, I think? Oh, that's going to be so good. Oh, so nice. Movement speed is probably my least important. Mount speed is also really good. I like that they let you play, like... Essentially, they let you play Jeopardy with this. You gave a customer par car performance parts? All right, let's do let's do warehouse. It's only seven hundred and fifty dollars. Where's that? Oh, oh. Oh my God. Yes, yes, Queen. 